So for people that aren't super familiar with uh, you personally, I think that most people are familiar with your work. I was doing, you know, a little research on the stuff you worked on. It's like, I don't think there's anything that, you know, you've worked with so many major artists and stuff that, they, that people are bound to have seen something, um, which is which is a cool honor on your part. I'm, uh, it's wild. Um, but for if they don't know you personally, can you give a little bit of backstory on who you are and what you what you do? Sure. Yeah. Um, I'm a, I'm a director and producer here in LA. Uh, the way I kind of, um, or sorry about that. Yeah. I'm a director, I'm a director and producer here in LA. Uh, I run uh, a production company called Simi in LA. Uh, I started that about 10 years ago, almost already, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, my background is in animation, uh, more specifically like motion graphics, like for broadcast and things like that. Uh, yeah, so I essentially started as an animator. Uh, I worked for the NFL coming out of school. Wow, cool. Um, and then uh, did that for about five years. While I was doing that, I was building Simeon um, to do more production-based projects, things like that. And uh, yeah, from, from there, kind of transitioned from an anima a, a post-production company. Simeon was largely a post-production company and has, over the years, transitioned to a full production company. We still do post, obviously, um, because of my background and, you know, uh, the visual effects side of things. Um, but I would say our main push right now is production. So Cool. I love the name. Where did the name come from, Simeon? Um, well, it was, you know, I was, we were just getting out of college and, and uh, it was like 20... Oh, sorry, let me turn this off. Yeah, you're good. Uh, it, I was just about to graduate college. I, was, I think I was in like halfway through my senior year or something like that. And, uh, you know, Planet of the Apes was a, was a big movie. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it was, you know, long story short, it was one of those things where, you know, I was watching that movie. I was trying to figure out where my life was going to go. Uh, I knew I had this internship at NFL Films in Philadelphia, but I was like, what if they don't hire me? Like, what's next you know like yeah. how do how do i come out of school with something so i was like all right if they don't hire me i'm gonna build something for me and all my friends wow. uh in college to do something and it was it's that it's that line from planet of the apes like apes alone weak apes together strong kind of a thing and i was like well um you know with all of our all, all of our reels and all the products that we've done in school and our outside freelance work like together we're actually like a pretty solid group of people and you know our age at the time didn't help us get the jobs that we wanted but i thought if we branded ourselves in a certain way and presented ourselves um as something maybe bigger than what we were <laughs> that uh that would get some attention you know because we all worked really hard throughout college and it wasn't just on the college projects but a lot of freelance stuff things like that um and and it and it and it kind of took off right away. I remember hmm. it's probably within like four, four or five months, we had like a meeting to do like animation for this like ESPN special. And then when we went to the coffee shop. I'll never forget the, the producers we were meeting with like, it's just you two guys, like, like you like kids. And I was like, yeah, like, they're like, okay. <laughs> Cause we like, we, I don't, I don't want to say like, you know, don't lie about your age or anything like that. We never would if they were, if they asked us, but we never were like, hey, we're brand new. It was just like, hey, look at our stuff. Is our stuff good enough? Like, Well, that's um, exactly it. Yeah. Let the let the work speak for itself. And if you, you have the opportunity to get your work out there before they meet you as you know an 18-year-old, 19-year-old kid, you let the work speak for itself. Absolutely. It's almost like the mentality of I've heard musicians be like, they create like a fake email, like a management email, and they have their manager email people, even though it's really just them emailing from a different name. Sometimes you need that separation, you know, from artist to, to, to business entrepreneur. And um, I definitely can relate to that. I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that could be helpful there. For sure. That's wild, man. That's that's really cool. So now you have a whole team. So I'm curious, actually, this is kind of a segue, but I'm curious now for just from my own knowledge. When you, you when you post what, what you do on Instagram, I was looking through your whole Instagram stuff. You 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 list all the people you work with, 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 with which I think is really cool. You, you know, everything from the gaffers to the electric, you list everybody. I think that's a, really cool, giving credit where credit is due. Are they all under Simeon, or are those all freelancer sub, sub work? Yeah, no, so th th those, are, those are all freelancers, co contractors, that uh, we essentially expand and contract based on the job. 
I mean, there'll be some shoots where we'll have a hundred people on set and there'll be some where we have six, you know, and yeah. it's like, and it's like whatever it takes to get the job done. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's pretty cool. It's like, we, we, we started doing that as far as on Instagram as like the full credits because it, it, it just felt, just felt weird to me, you know, like as a director and producer that like five people get credits and like the labels would only ask for like the director and the producer and I would just send them everything. I'd be like, oh, oh wow. You know? Cool. So, man. Cool. And I'm not, I'm not saying we started it, but I, I do think we were one of the first to really take the time to do that. And I, I think it's a little, it's as far as in the music video industry, um, it's kind of common practice now. And I think it's really great to see um, that that's caught on mm. because without, without, without your crew and without, you know, those key players in each of those positions, like your video could be like, it's yeah. like, you know, it's like, <laughs> yeah that that is what it's all about you know it's like so and and as as a director it's like your job is to like get the best out of each one of those departments and you know and Mm -hmm. and to help make those decisions along the way to get you know the artist or the client that that treatment that they've that they've agreed to and one little thing out of place doesn't make that video happen you know so yeah so so but but so, so giving everyone credit there is like like that that everybody's work is, yeah. is put into that final product and everybody should be yeah. tagged and we, we even do a thing um you know on our paperwork it's like <laughs> when you know for, for for checks and things like that we also ask for like instagram handles because like it can be such a task trying to find everybody <laughs> oh that's brilliant man absolutely that's amazing that is really cool i love that giving credit where credit's due and and no nah, it's just cool it's a cool sense of community that you're also building as well like it's all about relationships right 